Nigerian military kills ISWAP commander Abao Fatima, 15 others with super to Canada strikes in Lake Chad. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Nigerian Air Force and AF component of operation had in kind launched a series of airstrikes at the height of the terrorist. The Nigerian military has killed an Israel commander Abba Sofian and about 15 of his fighters with airstrike from A-29 Sopato Kano on the fringes of Lake Chad in Bruno State. It was gathered that the Nigerian Air Force NAF component of Operation Harenkai launched a series of airstrikes at the hideout of the terrorists in the north of Jibularam in the Mate local government area of the state. The operation was conducted after intelligence, surveillance and recognizance. ISR commissioned revealed the presence of several fighters who have converged on the area in the preparatory move to launch attacks on troops in the Axis. Zagazola Makama. Zagazola Makama, a counter insurgency expert and security analyst, said the successful airstrike were carried out on April 9, 2022, by the Nigerian Air Force Super Tokano in coordination with MNJTF, Niger Air Tax Force, MI35 and MII71 helicopter gunship, targeting an unidentified hideout of the terrorists in the north of Jibalaram in Marte local government area. The surgical airstrikes we are conducted on the length of credible intelligence which indicated that the commander and his fighters had taken a position to fight back the crushing to fight back against the crushing instruction of the enclaves and the lake chard by the combined forces. A ground assessment shows that the Abu Fatima a high-ranking ISWAP commander of Regio Amni Special Forces who took over from Bakura RPG and Adam Kaiga after they were killed and the previous military strikes were neutralized in the attack. The notorious ISWAP commander who has about 500 fighting militant troops under his Special Forces command has his jurisdiction in the entire Southern Island including Keta Wolgo, Sabon Tumbu, Kualarem, Siga, Jibularam, Abaganaram, and Yowakura. Now, how are we sure this is true? We have been lied to that we almost start expressing everything the government says. And it's not good. It's just like your children, you lie to them. Like your children, your own children, you lie to them. What do you think they're going to do? Every time you come out to say something, they're not going to believe it. That is one thing that has to do with you not telling the truth. When you are even coming out to say the truth, nobody will believe you. There's this story we were told when we were children, that a certain man went into a village and ran. That man ran into the village and said, Oh, there's a lion. No, my, the lion is taking over my sheep. The lion is eating my sheep. It's tearing my sheep apart. It's tearing my heads apart. It's tearing my animals apart. Please come and help me. And the villagers came out wanting to help this man. Genuinely. Only for the man to start laughing out loud at them. He played the prank on them. And what's his prank playing? Prank playing is making a lie seem like truth. And then after that day, you know, every other day, everybody continued their business. Why he did that, I don't know why he did that, but I think, I guess it was a prank. On a very good day, the lion came and would turn his hip apart. Do you know he came and shouted for help, but nobody, nobody came to help him? Why? Because they thought it was just another prank. That is how these things work. You always come out every time you're coming out to tell us that you destroyed these people. Every time. You will see in the Nigerian media, you will see them destroying one commander five times. They will kill one commander five times. And you have, as in one is or book around commander. And you start asking yourself, wait, too, is it that these people have five lives? That is how lies upon lies upon lies. And I don't know why they are saying this thing. The thing is that, unfortunately, we know that we are not safe. This one is not a thing that we don't want people to panic. It's a lie. This government, don't, they don't have an interest at heart. They don't want people to start defending themselves, in my own opinion. It has gotten to the point where if you are attacked kindly, if you know that you know you are in an area where <laughs> these people can show up, kindly sharpen your instruments. Yes, 
This is not me inciting anyone, but I'm telling you, it is because it has gotten to a point where Nigerians will have to defend themselves. The government have nothing to tell to us but stories. They have nothing to tell to us but super stories, and we are not going to have it. Why? Because we cannot sit down and continue to hear the super stories why people die on a daily basis. It is not possible. Why the display of Super Tukano instead of the remains of the Israel commander and other 15 terrorists who claim he killed? Help me and ask me. And the thing is, they always come out and tell you these stories without few pictures or videos to prove. Well, it is only stinking gullible mogul that will believe this, this fabricated lie. Exactly. And you know what? After they will come out and say, oh, the Nigerian people, they don't appreciate them. They don't, you know, they don't, you know, they don't, they don't, how do they even put it? How do you get to be appreciated when you come and you tell us lies, lies, and lies? The army today, if you heard that, oh, that the Boko Haram or the Israel people, that they launched an attack on the army, you will hear that, oh, five people died. But in the real sense, you hear that more than 20 people died. I'm saying, yes, you know, they might try to turn it down, but Nigeria is not, you don't, you will not say you want to turn it down for us. You can't be for us. It is to boost your own ego. It is not us. Because these people have shown us that time and time again that we are not, as in they don't take us as anything. They do not. First thing tomorrow morning, this same Abu Fatima will send warning message to the military. And you'll be asking yourself, is he sending me from the Grievian, Nigerian army with the propaganda? Thank you. Many people now know. You can see it is not just me. I'm not the only one who is talking. And the thing is, when Nigeria comes out to talk, they'll call Nigerians that we are parrots. That we don't appreciate them. We are not grateful after all they have done. Now I'm asking, what have you done? This particular administration keeps singing it. Oh, that they bought the equipment. Equipment, did you buy it with your money? I'm not blaming on I don't blame our leaders. Nigerians, in the history of Nigeria, Nigeria have not had good, not to talk of a better leader. That is why we are being treated like this. That is why you see governors, when they do their work, they come out and they, they kind of massage their ego. On top of say the employee may come do your work, you come, you work, you did, you, you did poof, they say you work. Who does you? It is because we don't even know what good looks anymore. We are now so, we are now in a place where all we can see is bad everywhere. First, the killing of the ESOP commander reported. May he never rise again. Kudos to the gallant officer. Sincerely, we need to be adding it, may, 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 may then never rise again. It is all the things I'm saying may sound funny, but definitely it is not. On this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.